What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy FC The Truth, and we're back with another video. In this video, we got WAC 100 reacting to Kanye West and Candace Owens wearing the White Lives Matter t-shirts in Paris. You know how we do it. We're gonna listen to him, and then we'll talk after the video. Drop your comments. Hey, Wack, I just I'm came just in. I'm just saying, though, is he right or is he wrong? I got, I got my, um, how I feel about it. I thought you was about to say you got you your know. shirt. I'm about to say what? <laughs> No, Kanye going crazy. He's no, I don't, but I don't totally dis I disagree with something, but I don't disagree with it all. And I've always said this, so you know, um <clears throat> I have never been um a supporter of just one side or nothing. I feel like personally, uh let me give you my point of view. This is whack. I'm not an advocate for white lives matter. I'm not an advocate for black lives matter i'm an advocate for all lives matter but i definitely would not wear the shirt that says white lives matter and i won't wear the shirt to say black lives matter i believe all lives matter in my life i've had some teachers some coaches some people i did business with have all been dear to me that were Hispanic, white, Asian, Jewish. So, you know, for me to say anything other than all lives matter, then I'm saying <clears throat> the attack on these other people, I'm giving a blind eye to, and I most definitely isn't. I am an all lives matter. Black lives are is in all lives. White lives is in all lives. Um, you know, I don't know why people is quick to forget the Jewish community went through the Holocaust. You know, it's a lot of communities that have been through some, you know what I mean? Our Native Americans, they definitely been through some. So I'm an all lives matter type guy. I would not wear the shirt, white lives matter. I won't wear the shirt, black lives matter because I think it'd be offensive to, um, you know, some people I do business with and people I'm, that's, that I'm dear to, that's, that's dear to me. So that's just me. So who's the individual that's asked, can they speak? He's I don't think elbows. he's starting to change, bro. I think that's him. Yeah, well, yeah. Just because well, a person is for his people doesn't mean he has to be against the other people. And I tell people this, when you go to talking crazy like that, I don't want to hear you crying about slavery. Hold on, also, hold on. Wait, I me, just, hold me, on, me, hold on, e Kim. I just feel like I understand. I mean, that was the whole underground railroad. I understand. Yeah. I understand that you know everybody's life matters or whatever, right? The problem All that right. I have, right? Cool, great, but black people are systematically oppressed, and so that. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, uh, no, we not. Wait, no, we're no, no, not. No, hold on, hold on. I'm tired. That's the whole yo, but yo, white people I'm are not oppressed. So what's the need for this movement? But what's the need for the movement? Back in week. Stop. No, 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 no. It's if anything, I mean, COVID was like, you know what? Yo, check this out. I don't see the purpose. Hey, wait, hold on, man. Stop pumping this systematic racism in these youngsters' head because you giving them an escape route on how to justify their failures. Stop that. It's an, an excuse. It's a poor Stop excuse. Stop doing it. I believe that's that's Listen, at one point in time, that case, we, could, we couldn't do this. We couldn't do that. But listen, I can honestly say, it's enough freedom and it's enough opportunity out here. I don't see the armed forces saying, oh, you're black, you can't get in. I don't see the bank saying, oh, you're black, we can't get you a home loan. I don't see the Mercedes Benz saying, you're black, we can't get you this. I don't see the school saying we don't accept black people. Listen, bro, it's a new day and age. Try harder. If at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. again. So what's the point of a? Yeah. So uh, this was a heated. This is a heated conversation. A heated argument. All right. So it's a lot to unpack here. I see what WAC 100 was saying. I get his point. I agree with some of what he's saying but not all of it because it's a big world and every it you can't just say a blanket statement and apply it to everybody because there's some it's some towns in 
some states where it's like sundown towns and it's, it's still a lot of stuff going on in the world a lot of issues that's not being addressed a lot of issues that's going on that need to be addressed i just feel like you can't turn a blind eye to that and just say hey everything's good now and i know like whack wasn't really trying to say that he was just trying to say kind of like the pull yourself up from your bootstraps things are a lot better than they used to be type of thing and i totally agree with that you know you can do a lot more than you can you could back in the day like you could you could start your own business you could go to school you could have three four jobs you could do a ton of stuff you know what i mean so whack 100 was 100 percent on point with his with his uh point of view on that i just feel like it, it you still have to address some issues that's going on and it is it's another conversation for another day to actually get into the meat and potatoes and the details of that but people know what i mean by that it's a lot of issues that's being swept under the rug a lot of things is going on that need to be addressed so it's i see i see both sides of the coin here but i i do i do lean toward um a all lives matter type of uh vibe that whack is giving off but i also feel like it's it's way more to it than that it's not as easy just to say hey just because you can go to a mercedes benz dealership and get a mercedes benz that everything is good everything is not good and you guys know what i mean it's a lot of issues that we got to tackle as people and we, you know we got to work on it we got to come together and work on it now as far as kanye west with this t-shirt though <laughs> kanye west has been erratic and wilding out for a long time um my thing is he does these antics right and then when he's going through stuff he he reaches out and wants the support from the same people that it feels like he's turning turning his back on and it's it kind of it's, it's this weird dance that he does where it's like one moment he's like you know he it seems like he's turning his back on on the on the people that made made him famous and made him that supported him and then when he's in a tight spot and the kardashians is is ruining his life and won't let him see his fan his kids and it's and it's all this turmoil he's going through then he's looking around like uh can i get some help can i get some support i need you guys to support and it's like yo where was you now you need now you need support now you need our support so it's kind of like i don't know you know kanye is a complex individual and he hasn't to me to me he hasn't spoke on it yet so i try to reserve a real stern opinion about this because Kanye does stuff just for shock value and then he'll later on try to explain it and sometimes it still doesn't make sense but then sometimes it does make sense so the fact that like he did this and it's like a trigger it triggered everybody everybody's like what oh my god but he hasn't spoke on it yet we don't know what he was trying to do he we don't know what his message is we don't know you know we don't know what context he's putting this whole fashion show in. He does, you know, it's like one of those things where you kind of want him to speak on it in an in-depth way and be like, hey, you know, people are upset with you because of this. What do you think? Like, I would love to hear his opinion on it. I've heard everybody else's opinion, but the guy that everybody's mad at, Kanye. So, yeah, you know. I just wish Kanye would get back to the music, man. If it seems like everything is about fashion and it's not about the music. I, I feel like the Donda albums were like unfinished and rushed. Every Donda album feels unfinished and you got these like incredible songs, but they're too short. Incredible songs, but they're like one minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, one hook or no chorus and you're like what and then Kanye says oh it's unfinished I'm working on the finished version it'll come out whenever I don't know I got a lot of songs that didn't make the album I don't it just seems like so unfocused like his music lately and and I just want a complete body of work where it's like is this actually how you wanted it to sound this is how you want it intended it to sound or is 
or are you really kind of just like scatterbrained and this is some ideas and you're going to put it out because because we love you because we've been following you since college dropout we're going to buy it and support it but it's really not finished but just consume it and then i'm gonna go do a fashion show and worry about my brand so i just i, I kind of i like the musician kanye west i really don't like the the political kanye west or the fashion kanye west but that's just me because i'm not into I'm not into politics heavy and I'm not into fashion heavy. So that's just me. Per There's nothing wrong if people are into fashion or into politics, but that's just not my lane. So <laughs> because that's not my lane, I'm waiting on some new music, man. I'm, making, I'm waiting on some music. You know, maybe I'm just one of those. I want the old Kanye type of type of dudes. But that's 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 how I feel, man. I, I know this is kind of long winded. Uh, what do you guys think of what Wack was saying about uh, systematic racism and uh, Kanye West? Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments and I'm out. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoy this video. Yeah, and I'm gone.